at the other end of the street. Who is your university? with certain corporate interests because we're going to need that money and that's going to set our agenda. Um, let me give you an example of a way in which we are already headed in that direction. April 28, 2008, just about, about two years ago, the Halliburton Center was established on campus. As far as I can tell, without a peak. Um, and I want to read from the UW-Madison press release from that time because I want to get this right. A geoscience visualization lab that opened last week in Weeks Hall will add a new dimension to geology research and education. The resources were provided as a gift to the university with no mandated research program. Very generous, right? Said Halliburton, as a corporation, we want to connect with universities, invest in the next generation of geoscientists, and unlock new ways of thinking about problems. Sounds, sounds good, right? Well, except, here's who Halliburton is. As you all know, a quick Google search brings up Cheney, Halliburton, Circle of Corruption, Pentagon whitewash for Halliburton corruption in Iraq, Halliburton serves contaminated water to troops, priests corporatized to the university are undemocratic and are a major problem. Our, our university! Yeah. University, more like our university. Yep. In terms of the way that the badge of partnerships being sold, the Chancellor also told a public forum that we are going to specialize in what might be profitable is funded. Uh, so the university increasing will be seen as a research and development uh, economic engine. This isn't the first time that's happened. Does anybody remember bovine growth hormone? You know, Wisconsin, Wisconsin does have a crisis. Our nation has a crisis. It's in a great mess. All you have to do is watch what's going on in Washington the last few days. When Michael Moore was here, he gave a very good talk in which he said something very important. Wisconsin is not broke. Remember that? Yeah. Well, I want to continue on what Michael said by saying our nation is not broke. Social Security is not broke. The problem is we have a very few very rich people like the Koch brothers who do not pay their fair share of taxes who have put this idea that we're broke out on the agenda and with the help of Rush Limbaugh and the Fox Network and a lot of other people and the Tea Party insanity, they have convinced America and Wisconsin somehow that we're broke. And we have to do very radical things like take away workers' rights and eliminate university uh, programs and eliminate health care for senior citizens and on and on. Not to mention make students pay higher tuition as we just heard about. The vast majority of Americans cannot afford to pay more. The economy is now twice as large as it was 30 years ago, and yet the average worker only makes about $280 more than they made 30 years ago, adjusted for inflation. Today's working and middle class taxpayers are shelling out a bigger share of their wallet, only hits the top 2% of people. In the year 2000, it was 55% and only kicked in after a million dollars. Now it's only 35% and kicks in after five million dollars. How many of you are going to have more than five million dollars to try to pass on to your kids? Uh -huh. If the rich in this country were taxed at the same rate they were 50 years ago, they would be paying $350 billion this year, not to mention the billions and billions every year after that. 
We're not broke. We're just not making people who should pay pay for the, the pay for our state and for our country. There's lots of numbers you can find these yourself on the internet. Between about 1950 and 19. I thought that was great when our friend from from uh, from Georgia, Mississippi, Georgia, showed the dollar bill. He took away all my steam. They're not paying their taxes. They're making millions and billions of dollars. They're paying their corporate executives millions and millions of dollars, and they're not paying taxes. For example, General Liquid only paid seven percent last year. About the true situation. One little personal example in the situation. They have great wars, approximately 50% of the voters in our state and 50% plus of the voters in our nation. To allow them to elect the kind of people that are trying to sell this propaganda about Wisconsin being broke and who's the place to listen to the world. What does it mean? The truth of the it's led for no one screws with Wisconsin to get away with it. Oh. So no one screws with Wisconsin yeah, no one, gets away with it. Yeah, basically, uh, Nemo means no one, Wisconsin is with Wisconsin. <laughs> Improving community and McKesson means uh, attack. Okay. So no, no one attacked Wisconsin with impunity. Did you have this flag made? Yes, yeah, I designed it and we had it made at uh, Olympus Flag in Milwaukee. With Texas, sort more, of. More intellectual. <laughs> yeah, just with an angry badger. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Because without you, I wouldn't be here. And without you and the thousands who joined this effort, and right now we're collecting petitions all across the state, and hopefully we'll start collecting petitions next January and February for a little project. But I have. I have just one last thing that I need to say, and I need to know. In the governor's Iowa focus bill, he said, the Democrats speak out as independent boss, and we need that office to process the trademarks and the notaries and the apostasy bills for reform student adoptions and everything that the people in my office do up there on the 10th floor of that building. But if Governor Walker's budget succeeds, that office will be ripped apart. They transfer the duties to DOA, that he controls, transfer the duties to DFI. And in order to stop that, I need to get you to send emails to joint finance members and convince at least five or six of them, in addition to the ones I've already talked to, to vote against the idea of ripping apart the Section of State's office. If any of you want to help, I've got some information here. I'm going to walk back down the post my office. If you want one of these, I'll give you one. Or you can go to the website, the Secretary of State's website. I put up a notice. I check with the ethics board first to make sure it was okay. To make sure it was okay for me to put this notice on the website to urge people to contact Joint Finance. And they said, no problem, so I did, and I've got copies here. Thank you all again, keep on fighting.
moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. We shall not be moved. We'll keep this rally rolling. We shall not be moved. Although we could be bowling, we shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. We shall not be moved. For the teachers who have taught us, we shall not be moved. We shall not, we shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. We shall not be moved. For the teachers who have taught us, we shall not be moved. For the folks who drive the school bus, we shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. We 